Hey guys, it's Henry here. I'm going to be walking you through the Facebook Audience Insights tool in this video. It's one of the most vital tools that I personally use when it comes to my Facebook marketing. You've maybe heard of it, but you might not know how to get the most out of it. So this is the point of this video. Watch to the end if you want to understand this tool. And in a second, I will dive into my computer here and walk you through step by step how to use this tool to, to your, the benefit of your Facebook ad. So hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave me a comment at the end of the video if you, you like this or you want me to clarify points, and I will do. But for now, I'm going to dive into my computer, so keep watching and enjoy. Hey guys, how's it going? So as I said, I'm going to be talking about the Facebook Audience Insights in this video here. It's one of the most important tools that you're going to be using when running your Facebook, um, Facebook ads. I really, really believe in this tool. I use it before I run basically every ad that I personally run. So if you want to find out how to use the Facebook Audience Insights tool, and get your ads to the next level, then follow along the next 10 or so minutes and I will dive into it. So, what do you need to know about the Facebook Audience Insights to begin with? Uh, as I said, it's vital to start with your ads with the Facebook Audience Insights, especially if I'm selling a product or course. I use the Audience Insights for every single ad that I run. Uh, what the Audience Insight tool does is ensures that the people that you target uh, with your ads are going to be the most relevant people for you. You aren't going to waste money putting your ads in front of the wrong people. And how you want to be using the tool is basically like an idea generator. This is, uh, you're going to be using the tool to get ideas in terms of what interests to target for your, your product or course or whatever that you're running. You get ideas from the audience um, insights, make sure that it's the best possible interest to target and then your ads are good to go. So it also helps with creating a customer avatar if you haven't already got one for, for the audience that you're targeting. Um, and as a side note, with local businesses, sometimes I don't actually use the audience inside tool, at least not how I'm showing you. Uh, so with a cafe and, and so on, maybe you don't need to use the insights tool, but definitely if you're using uh, selling a course or physical product, you want to be using the audience insight tool as I'm going to outline in the next few minutes. So watch ahead and, and as I said, uh, enjoy this video and, and keep uh, paying attention. So. so what are the steps that you need to keep in mind when using the audience insight tool? Basically, just two things. <laughs> it's as easy as this. You just need to do a little bit of initial research on Google or if you've got prior knowledge of the niche and then you dive into the audience insight tool. So that, that is really all there is to it. And the third step, if I was to add one, is of course run your ad. So in, in that order. So now I'm going to walk you through precisely how I use the audience insight tool. The first thing to, to note about the audience insight tool is how do you get there? You get there from either your adverse manager. So this is my ad manager here. And you go to the top left hand corner, the top left hand corner here, and then you can go here and click on, on the audience insights. So th that is one way um, to do that. That is one way to get into the audience insights tool. Or uh, a, another way is just, of course, go to this URL um, here, which is facebook.com slash ads slash audience insights, as you can see on the top. Um, the, the top two bar there and then you will again come up with the the audience insights bar in that way so those are the two ways to get, get into the audience insights toolbar and now i'm going to walk you through precisely what to do once once you're on that stage so as you can tell here the first thing that um, comes up is it it, it it if you find out if you want to to look at people everyone on facebook or you want to just see people connected to your page. Of course, if I've got a page connected to this, we can uh, see the insights related to that specific page. Also, if you've got a customer list, there will be an option to use your customer list to, to dive into the demographics of your, your customer list. But for this example that I'm walking you through here, we're just going to use uh, the United States. So as you can see here, there's about 150 million to 200 million people um, active on Facebook in the United States. You can see here, it's the makeup of, of people um, on Facebook in the United States. It's, of course, b b basically evenly split between uh, male and female in the States. Uh, the 25 to 34 demographic is probably the highest, as you can tell here. Again, it's a demographic that I like because as opposed to like this demographic, this here are buyers and they tend to pull out the, the wallet. They've got a bit more money than people who are like 18 to 21, for example. So. Just a side note, this is a demographic that I like. You can see um, the breakdown in terms of their, their lifestyle, relationship status, um, all, all kinds of, of things, as you can tell, is, is on here. You can see 
what kind of pages that they, they generally tend to, to like. Walmart, Amazon, Target, Barack Obama, Mitt Romney, Kevin Hart. So you just get a breakdown of, of things that people like. It's on the clothing. Victoria's Secret is, is big. Um, let's let's see here. Um, you can you can take a look at the activity, the number of pages they liked, and so on. So the audience insights is basically a really good tool. You can dive into this at your own discretion and see the stuff that makes sense for you. So, but for this example, I'm going to pretend that we're selling a football magazine. So basically, this is this section here is something that I use a lot when it comes to the audience insights. You can play around with all this in terms of age, in terms of gender, but generally, I like to just use this interest um, thing here so say I was selling a self-development course for example I would maybe type in Tony Robbins maybe any some of you watching this video know to, who Tony Robbins is he's a huge huge guy in, in self-development so if I was selling a self-development course perhaps I would would um, check for, for Tony Robbins so as you can see here we're looking for people who like t Tony Robbins it's mostly female as you can tell 57 uh, percent um, female uh, the the gray background is the, the percent of people on Facebook in general, and then the blue one is the percent of people that like uh, Tony Robbins. So as you can you can tell the, how skewed the the chart is in terms of more more people in this demographic like Tony Robbins in terms of percentages than than there are people on Facebook, if that makes sense. So um, what else can we tell looking here? This this uh, page likes bar is something that I generally spend all my time on in terms of the audience insights. I can spend um, a couple of, of hours be, just on, on this page like toolbar coming up with interest Th this is where you want to use as an idea generator in terms of the interest to target in your in your ad so with with the Tony Robbins interest as you can tell we've got 1.5 uh, million to 2 million monthly active people on Facebook in the United States so if I was now to, to run an ad directly in my adverse manager and use this as an interest Already, we know that we will be, be showing the ads to 1.5 million to 2 million people in the United States. So this, this is, is very clear. And then we can, of course, dive deeper in, into this to, to find various other interests that you want to, to target. So I've always got my a notepad with me um, and a pen. And then I, I note down all these interests. I like to, to make a list of about 15 or so interests that I can target when running my ads. So again, I just use this tool as a idea generator and then I find the best interest that I think fit the, the product or course or whatever that I'm trying to sell and then I, I pick these out. I've shown in past videos sometimes you can use a spreadsheet and, and put these uh, together in terms of my apologies about that my battery was a bit low I had to charge my computer quickly before it died on us here but as I was saying so Tony Robbins um, as you can tell, we've dived into this. We can we can see a whole host of things that we can target if we were looking for self development um, uh, things to target. You can open these up in a, a new tab, or just press Control and and click on this, and it opens up um, these interests here. In case you don't know what they are, of course, as you can tell, if we were to be looking for a self development thing, this interest here is obviously not going to be the best interest to target in terms of self-development because it's it's not fully related to what we want to target. So basically you want to make sure the interest that you pull from from this when doing your research are the closest possible thing to uh, the thing you're trying to sell. So for example, if we were selling um, a self-development thing as I mentioned, would do you think these people in this interest here would be 100% interested in the product that we have to offer? I personally doubt it. Do you think the people um, at Starbucks here would be 100% interested in a self-development thing? M most likely not. So those won't be the best um, interested target. But uh, to make sure you can open these up in a new tab, as I mentioned, um, go, th go through this. You can see this page is very responsive to messages. It's got a whole host of likes. You can also get an idea of the kind of um, targeting that they, or the kind of, of content that works on this page see how um, engaged the page is because when I'm, I'm pulling up pages on the audience insights tool here you also want to make sure they are as engaged as possible if they're getting a lot of comments a lot of shares and so on then that might be a really good um, interest to, to target so I definitely would note down an interest that seems targeted and it's got a whole host of comments and so on as you can tell like this one has got 1k um, 1k uh, comments and, and, and shares so this seems like 
it's a, a fairly good uh, page in terms of engagement. I, I will take a look at the kind of content that resonates with the audience. What kind of copy are they they using? What kind of um, um, things generally get the most engagement? Is it picture quotes? Maybe I could pull up some ideas from here to run in my ads. Uh, just just yeah, dive dive deep into this, guys, because. A lot of people just think it's it's very easy to just set up the ads and go, but a lot of the work that you do becomes before setting up your, your ads. It, it comes in the prior knowledge that you have of the niche or the in terms of the, the targeting and so on. Because again, if you've done your, your research, the ads ad stage is going to be as easy as possible. You know exactly who to target, you know what resonates with that audience and so on. So this audience insights tool is, is vital, vital guys. I can't stress that enough, really. So again, we've pulled up this um, uh, page I blank love science uh, yeah and um, you can see this is not fully a self-development thing it's, it's down to science it's a very very engaged page but it's more of a science thing than a self-development page so we, we aren't going to be targeting that um, yeah so this this is just a number of things that you can do I'm just going to pull up a, another example in the case that we were um, uh, I'm just going to pull up another example to give you a, 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 a better understanding of exactly what the audience insights tool is. So uh, let's use another example. Let's say we're selling um, football uh, products or, or whatever. I will type in um, this to get an idea of, of football magazines. Or let's let's even just try yoga magazines. I, I don't know anything about yoga, but I'm going to just for this, the sake of this example, try and type that in. So okay, we've got an, a number of um, yoga magazines here so i'm going to type in one of them let's tr try um asana journal so you come to the audience insights toolbar we type in asana journal okay that doesn't come up so sometimes on audience insights even if it's a really good um page that you're targeting sometimes it doesn't show up on audience insights it doesn't show up in the ad manager nobody knows why facebook has a way of doing things so we, we can't help that. I'm just going to type in another magazine here. Let's try this one, Yoga Magazine. Okay, so Yoga Magazine comes up. And then, um, firstly, let's just take a, a look at the breakdown of the people in um, that like Yoga Magazine. As you can tell, it's almost all women. Um, it's, a, it's a very female-based um, thing in terms of, of the breakdown. You can see it's only 14% men. Um, the, the highest demographic is between 35 and, and 44, then followed by um, 45 to 54. So you can tell maybe this is geared towards a slightly older um, demographic. That can help you in terms of, of the ads that you run. It, it can help you in terms of the copy. Use this information, guys. Use this to help you with your ads. It's all there for you. Facebook allows you to, to see this vital information. You can also check the activity. Let's see here. So the people who like yoga magazine in general tend, tend to be more active than people, the, the general uh, number of people on, on Facebook. As you can tell, the people who like yoga magazine in general like nine pages as opposed to two, on Facebook, uh, two which is the average on Facebook. They have uh, 25 comments in the last 30 days as opposed to just eight um, generally on Facebook. So this is a, an active niche. So this is a good thing for you guys to know. This is a, a, a good solid um, Thing to target we can dive into the page likes um, here and then open them all up in, in a new tab open up some some of these um, things to get an idea of what they are if you don't know who is George Taki I don't know who he, who he is so while I wait wait for these uh, pages to load just for you guys to again I'm just stressing the importance of this tool it's Facebook gives you access to all this information that you can use when running your ads use in terms of your targeting um, as I said I've got my pad here that I always um, I'm writing in so I, I what I would do is find out all these um, interests that could be vital or could be very good when I'm, I'm running my ads and I put them all down in a notepad to help with with, with my targeting so um, you can see here this has already got three to five uh, three to four K monthly active people so obviously it's not the biggest audience so you want to stack these and, and get a whole host of possible interests that you can can use when um, doing your, your targeting so um, let's let's see I'm just trying to open up a couple of these examples um, for you to, to, to get an idea of 
what you can see at the audience insights tool but again I, I think you guys get the gist of what the audience insights tool does you can use it to really dive deep into into um, the, the the interest for you for the niche that you're going into it helps a lot a lot when it comes to your targeting um, I can't stress that enough so I hope you guys in, enjoy this video I'll keep it as short as, as possible um, so it doesn't drag on for too long I, I think you, you do understand from this exactly how to use the audience insights tool to your benefit just pop me any questions if you, you don't understand something about this video and I'll, I'll clarify it for you because of course the the this video is supposed to help you guys in the best way possible so if it's not clear just let me know and I'll get back to you I will answer that in a question for you and of course subscribe if you like to, to see content as soon as I put out these free marketing videos subscribe if so you can be first to not be notified like if you, you do like this content and I will see you on on the next video for more Facebook marketing advice and take care guys